Hello, beautiful people. Today, we're going to talk about Facebook avatars. If you remember, in the beginning, we had Bitmoji. And we were able to post our Bitmojis on Facebook. And as time went on, Facebook uh, was no longer able to integrate with Bitmoji because Snapchat acquired them. And oh my goodness, Snapchat has done some fantastic things with Bitmojis. And I still go over there and use my Bitmoji every now and then. <laughs> but now Facebook has come out with their alternative and this is only the beginning. So whenever you're watching this video, just know that there's probably some updates, but we're at the very beginning stages because this was just released the other day to all of us. And it is our Facebook avatar. So there's mine. And I want to say hi to some folks that have come into the live stream today. Uh, Frazier Ramsey from Ramsey Unleashed and Thelma Thrift Morning. Oh, Th Thelma Thrift. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's first, for those of you who are here for the first time, my name is Eileen Smith, and I talk about live streaming, social media, YouTube, and all things that help content creators uh, do much better with their content. I know I call you beautiful people. If you're wondering why, that's because I know that you have a beautiful message that's inside of you. And I don't care if you're a man or a woman, or if you're non-binary, none of that matters. You've got a beautiful message inside of you. And you may be a little shy, a little, little hesitant to get it out there to the world. And my job is to help you overcome all of that and help you navigate through this techie world that we're in. So today we're going to talk about Facebook avatars and it's very important because Facebook is the largest social media platform on the planet. And right now it is the place where just about everybody is hanging out. And even if you don't like Facebook, I still want you to go over there and make your avatar. So I want to hear from the folks that are here this morning. Can you please let me know if you've made your Facebook avatar yet? And don't worry, guys, I'm going to show you how to do it. Here's the one that I'm currently rocking now. Who knows? I may change her later on, but right now I like her. This is the best I could do to, you know, we're, we're doing quarantine hair right now, but you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like what my hair usually looks like when I do my super cute Saturday thing, right? So please guys, let me know if you are already using Facebook, your Facebook avatar. And uh, let, let's first put comments up here from Ramsey and that was Fraser Ramsey and then from Thelma and then my girl Kate from Paul Tales Pet Sitting Service. Good morning, love the avatar. I've made one too. Those of you who are my friends on Facebook, go over there if you're watching this uh, in the live and add, whoops, Doug Hoosen gave me a super chat. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Doug, please. Uh, and Kate, please go over to my profile and you'll see where I where I share my avatar on my profile and, and I'll screen share that in a minute and go ahead and post yours as well. So everybody can see. Okay. So thank you, Doug. And let's see what Doug says. An open eye with the words sneak peek. <laughs> Thanks, Doug. <laughs> and I hope that uh, you've had a chance to post over there on Facebook as well. Please do a video on live streaming to Facebook. It's changed browser supports. Thelma, I just did that video, uh, I want to say last week, to show you how to use the Facebook Live producer. So just go into my archive and you'll see that video there. 
All right, so let me just, now that Thelma has said that, let me just go ahead and uh, I wanted to get over here on YouTube side anyway, make sure everything is good to go. And I will post a link here, which reminds me, I need to post this out on Twitter. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff going on here. Here's the link to that video. I don't know why I started at four seconds, but there you go. Okay. So hang on one little momento. I love, love, love to have my chat popped out when, even though I can see the chat because I'm using this wonderful, amazing platform, Ecamm Live, in case anybody's wondering. And the link is in the description for those who are on Mac computers and they want the best live streaming app available on Mac. And, uh, but I still like to have my YouTube chat popped out. That's just a thing. <laughs> and so I'm in the process of getting that now. And I also want to say hi to my good buddy, Barb Tomlin, and get her comment up on screen. In fact, I can move this little window down. And great move in sharing this tutorial. Oh, thanks, Barb. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So how do we get... How we get in here, all right? First, you want to go to Facebook, of course. And the hamburger menu. There's, there's a couple of different ways you can get there, okay? But this is the current way that you can get there quickly. So if you're on your Facebook home, there's always a hamburger menu down at the bottom with this current layout we have. And hello, Hamed. <laughs> I love how he comes in and says, hi, teacher. I got to put that up <laughs> somewhere. I got to find my comments here because this is important to me that I have someone who knows I'm their teacher. <laughs> oh, geez. When I did that, I got rid of my, it's okay. Let me get you back over here in front of the plant. All right. So the hamburger menu, which is at the very bottom right. It's going to bring you to this section. Now, you may not see avatars up at the top like I do of all these little white icons. Avatar is one of mine because I've been going in there all day and I've been using it quite a bit today. But what you want to do is click on see more. And then yours will appear in that list there. So it'll be right after ads manager will be avatars. Okay. So. If you guys uh, can go to your phones now, those of you who are here, hopefully you have a spare device. You can grab your phone and look and see if you have that. If anybody doesn't see it, please, please, please let me know. Make sure if you're not seeing it at all, just make sure your phone is updated. Make sure you have the current, uh, the latest and greatest Facebook app on your phone. It doesn't matter if you have an iOS or Android. Okay. So you're going to go into avatars. Now for the very first time, you know, you're going to go in here, you're going to set it up. Okay. Because you want it to know like your complexion, uh, what your hairstyle is, and you know, it'll let you pick from different shapes of eyes. Now, if you guys remember Bitmoji, when we first set up our Bitmojis, they did the same thing. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, we used to be able to put Bitmojis on Facebook, but then Snapchat or Snap purchased Bitmoji and they've done amazing things with Bitmoji as well as animating those Bitmojis. Okay. And so there's nothing like Snapchat. I got to be honest with you. Facebook really still has some catching up to do. <laughs> it's just that. Nobody's on Snapchat anymore. Everybody's on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> so for right now, what I want to share is I've already had mine set up, but initially it's going to bring you to these screens. Now I'm going to hit the little pencil icon, which would be to edit. All right. So you may start with a blank slate with a, a bald uh, person that it doesn't even know, like male, female, whatever. And you're going to see all the different attributes that you can change skin tone. All right. And then right next to that, you'll see 
the hair, hairstyles. And so once you've got your skin tone, then I think it's a little bit easier to go ahead and decide on what hairstyle you want to use. And I know, so, especially some of us ladies, we tend to have different hairstyles. Not me personally, but a lot of us do. So just pick one because guess what? You can always come back in here and change it. <laughs> okay. So you, you want to go through there and then it gives you the option to say you want short hair, medium length hair, or long hair. Okay. So, which is really cool because like I said, especially for the ladies, some of you may have short hair one day and long hair the next or the other way around. It doesn't matter. And my boy, Michael Daniels just is in the house now. <laughs> And he always comes with the super chat. Yes, finally caught you live. I don't have this feature yet, so I want to learn this. Okay, if you don't have it, just make sure your phone is updated and make sure you have the current, the latest version of Facebook. Now, I know Michael's super tech savvy, okay? So you guys all follow Michael for sure. But every now and then, you got to remember, there's like a couple billion people that Facebook has to roll this out to. So if you don't have it today, you're going to have it. You're going to have it in the next few minutes. Okay. Th thanks again for the super chat, Michael. Okay. So you get to choose the length of hair. All right. Next, you're going to choose your face shape. Now, I, in my opinion, this is the piece that really starts to hone it in to look like you. And I want... All of my, my ladies, especially don't go with the little skinny face. If you know, you put on a, a couple of quarantine pounds. Okay. <laughs> Give it a little fullness there to be realistic. Now, some of you guys are just slender. You're just going to have a slender look there. So just go through there. And you know, I, I didn't want to go all the way. So I just went to like the one that was right before. Okay. <laughs> so then you're going to add lines. Now, this is another thing that's going to start making it look a little bit more like you because, you know, some of us have more lines than others. And that, believe it or not, doesn't really have much to do with age because it's just that some people just have, they can have frown lines or it's just because their face is chiseled because they do the yoga all the time or whatever. <laughs> okay. So then the next would be the eye shape. Now the eye shape for me is what really made this be more cartoonish because actually my, in my opinion, my eye shape is not captured here. It's very, very close. And so, I mean, Hey, come on, this is a free app, right? You can't expect it to be Picasso, but you've got so many different, and you know, I just realized I could change the color of my eyes. I didn't, I wasn't paying that any attention before. And I think I need to do that. I think I need to give myself a little bit browner eye. But I'll come back and do that later because I don't want things to uh, go awry here. Makeup. I don't wear makeup. I, every now and then, I know somebody's going to go back in my YouTube archive. You got on makeup in that video. Yeah. And then I realized one day, like, it's not that serious. I mean, I'm only, if I'm only putting on makeup, because I'm on YouTube, keep it real, right? <laughs> I'll wear makeup when I go out my front door. I'll wear makeup. Oh yeah, they 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 don't let me out much now, but you know what I'm saying. If you wear it, wear it, okay. <laughs> and then uh, the eyebrows. Another thing that you may struggle with. This is where you're going to spend a little time in here, because. And what they do, they give you this option here. If you look up toward the top on the right hand side, you see the mirror. So it gives you the option to just like have your little face right next to it. So, you know, if you're not sure, like, like what kind of eyebrows do I have? So you don't have to go and look in the mirror. You can just do it right there on the phone, which is so, so cool. All right, so the next is going to be your glasses. And then once you pick the, sh the shape, 
of your glasses, you can also dial in the color. And I know there's a lot of us who, you know, that color of the glasses it was, is what makes us stand out. It's part of our branding, okay? A lot of a lot of us marketers, I know a lot that you wear the red or the white or the blue, you know, it makes them more memorable. And then there's even a, a really pale gray or an, and a see-through one there as well, okay? And then your nose. Yes, this is another area where it's really like honing in on what you really look like. So I think I did a good job of picking a nose, but who knows? Oh, picking a nose. That doesn't sound too good, does it? <laughs> and Kate says the facial options are really good. They are, Kate. Uh, you know, and I'll tell you, I'm, in a minute, I'm going to compare a little bit with what I see different between this and Bitmoji and, and how you'll, you'll, for those who are not really familiar with Bitmoji or whatever, we'll talk about that too. Okay, so then the uh, color of your lips, which is, this is something that you don't really think about, like, what color are my lips? <laughs> and then you may be somebody who, who does wear makeup often, so you want that makeup on, right? And then your facial hair, uh, you know, I was tempted, but I said, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and then your body shape. Once again, time for us ladies to get real. And I know we all want to just go in there and, and pick one that is really so super shapely. Oh, uh, well, with the outfit that I'm wearing, they don't have the shapely one. But next we'll go to the outfit. All right. So there, there were some that were super curvy and I was like, y'all playing, y'all know y'all not that's curvy. <laughs> and then if you want to put on a chapeau, you could do that as well. And with that, you know, because they have so many different styles and I love how they have all these different diverse, uh, kinds of hats and styles of hats. And so if you have, I don't have a hat, so I don't have any color there. And I got to be honest, this is the way I am in real life. I don't wear hats. It's just something I just don't do. Okay. So then there's a check at the top, at the very top, right? There's a check. So, and I don't think I edited anything. So it's fine. It didn't do anything. All right, so one of the things you're going to want to do once you've made this, sweetie, is to share it. All right, so up at the top, you can share it to your feed or you can do what I've done. And this is something that I totally picked up on this training from one of my coaches. And one of my coaches is from adventure social you guys know i always give credit where credit is due uh john eric and you'll also know him uh find him as john eric thinks that's eric with a k john eric is one word one name two words but one name <laughs> john eric thinks they call him je or coach <laughs> and he gave this brilliant idea to go ahead and set it as a temporary profile pic. Set it as a temporary profile pic. And then when you do, when you say that, okay, now I've already done this. So I'm not going to share it again, but you want to think about these different poses that you can do. You can do this one, or you can do the one from the side. You can do the winking eye, but you also, very important to pick a good background color that is a contrasting color. And in my case, I chose the yellow. Okay. And so there's two ways you can share that. You can share that on your timeline. And when you share it on your timeline, you also get the option to make it a 3D. And I shared it that way as a 3D in my uh, patrons group. Anybody wants to know about the patrons group? Patreon.com slash Eileen. 
And Kate said, I can't wait to learn how to add my avatar to comments. It said they are on GIFs, but I couldn't find them. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to show you because that's coming right up. And then I'm not sure why Mr. Bink, is this real? Yes, honey, it's real. Real as real can get. I'm as real as real can get <laughs> and you're here live okay so you're lucky all right so <laughs> but it's real even if you're watching later on it's still real okay so how to get it to come up in comments so i'm just going to go over to my profile because i have asked you guys to um you know share yours When I post posted it as my profile, temporary profile pic, all right? Uh, did you notice more outfits coming up as you played with the wardrobe option? No, I did not notice more outfits coming up. It, but it could be that it's based on that body type that was picked. That's possible. If you're seeing ones that I'm that I didn't show. <laughs> and Kate loves that song too. I'm as real. Okay. So <laughs> yes. So here we go. I shared it. All right. So I'm going to, and so, so far, not bad. I got 25 comments, right? So, and even, even coach John Eric came over and, and gave me some emojis because I did it. I've listened. And this is what I, my, what I hope for you guys that you, not only just watch my tutorials and know how these things go, but to take action. And I sat there and watched his whole tutorials and bam, I took action immediately. <laughs> okay. But at the same time, you want to make this your own. Okay. You don't want to copy so he shared the example of how he posted to his timeline. And then right away, some folks went and seriously copied and pasted exactly what he said. And, but I didn't, cause I never do that anyway. <laughs> I always want to say what I want to say. I, don't, I never want to say what other people want to say. So anywho, not a big deal. Just you take action, post it, create your avatar. Facebook is not going to just let this little feature sit like, oh yeah, we'll put that out there for them. We'll just let it sit right there. They're not going to do anything except they're trying to just blow Snapchat out the way, guys. I mean, this is an ongoing thing. This is didn't just um, dawn on them that, oh, maybe we should have a Bitmoji as well. No, this has been a while. They've been in development of this thing. And they probably already know what's coming down the pike, how they're going to start animating it, how they're going to start building it out with the VR and AR and all that stuff. Cause remember they got the Oculus and all that. So they got to make this little thing come to life eventually. All right. And, and they can't, not only can they not roll all that out to the 2 billion people, just, just like that. They also know that we need time to let this marinate, let this sink into our, let me get to what I want to show Kate. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. So you don't use the GIF, Kate, once you have created, now mind you, this is me showing you on the phone, but I'm going to show you on desktop in a minute as well. You click on the emoji picker. Oh dear, that's not what was supposed to happen. But at the very bottom, it's not supposed to come up as, it comes up as stickers on desktop. And I'm not sure why I just did that just now, but hang on. Let me come back out of that. Let me go to the comments. Now where it says write a comment. Ah, okay. I know how to do it this way too. So never fear. At the very, very bottom, you'll see where there's a glass and um, a, a search thing. And then there's a time thing. And I don't know, even know what that arrow is for. But the next thing you'll see there is actually my little avatar. 
and click that on and now it's bringing up the stickers. But you guys should see that. You shouldn't have to go through that extra step. I'm not sure why it did that for me just now based on something else I had been doing probably before I went live. And so this is going to give you access to these stickers. And these stickers can be shared in the comments. Okay? So you'll also see emoji on the phone and stickers on desktop. That's it, Kate. You got it. So, <laughs> okay. Yes. So, and, and, uh, um, Mr. Binkless, I have create room thing. I don't have this. Uh, I'm not sure why the wrong comment came up. Oh, there's my, uh, my other friend, Dean Reynolds media. Happy be Sunday. Thanks so much for coming in. It's I-L-E-A-N-E. -E. You guys spell it right, Dean. I-L-E-A-N-E. -E. Very important. Very, very, very important. <laughs> okay. So right now, these are the stickers that we have available to us. Okay. And there's what, a couple of dozen of them here. I give Facebook a week or even probably throughout this week, they will be adding additional ones. And if anybody does use Snapchat, you know that the Bitmoji, the selection of stickers that we can use on Bitmojis changes. Like the, I could use one Bitmoji in the morning and by the evening, that Bitmoji could be gone and there's another one, the, the, the stickers, okay? So they're going to build this out. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Emoji on. Okay. I'm sorry. Y you're my rock star. Loving the Sunday show and tell. Oh, I like this show and tell. Thank you, Kate. Oh, <laughs> I L E A N E. Sorry, dear. That's okay. <laughs> I just want that to just like, before you go to bed tonight and before you after you finish creating your avatar, I want that little song to just roll around in your brain. I-L-E-A-N-E. I -E. I okay, let me get back. All right, so guys, let's go over to desktop, all right? Let's go over to the desktop. This is fun. And Kate says, this is so much fun. It really is, Kate. You know, and I always like to have a ball with you guys. I love, love, love doing live stream for this, this very reason. Okay. So I am going to give little shout outs to people who have already left theirs. Because this is what I said when I posted. What I did was I made this a temporary profile pic. But I also added this text. Don't copy exactly what I said. Then again, I don't care. You can copy exactly what I said. It's not like I created this thing, right? I took this whole idea and concept from the training that I had with my coach, John Eric Mosler from Adventure Social. Hi there. Today, I put the finishing touches on my Facebook avatar. That was all me, okay? I'm, which is the truth because I changed it this morning. Did you make your avatar yet? Let's see what you came up with. And there's my good buddy Karen and this Kara. And then there's Dan Davidson. And there's J.E. Of course, he didn't post his. He just gave me a bunch of emojis. <laughs> and then there's Heather. And Brownlee, Brownwin, Kate, there's Kate. Hey, Kate, I'll come back to you and reply in a minute. Kiana Monroe, Alice Andrate, Allison, Terry, Chantal, Mazda, Elise, my other coach, Elise Michelle Jones. Got to give her a shout because she's my other coach. I have more than one. Marion. So oh, Marion says, okay, no wonder I couldn't get one. I was trying to create it on my PC. So that's it. You can't create it on your PC yet, but you can post it from your PC, which I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Renata, Shaquita, 
Niall, long time buddy. Niall was probably one of the first bloggers that I ever, ever met. And I actually had the opportunity to meet her in person at a word camp here in Philadelphia. Now Flores, then Anitra. These are awesome. Thank you, Anitra. Okay. So if I want to reply to someone, I will here insert an emoji. Oh, fooey. I'm sorry. You don't want to do the emojis. Even Kate already said it, but I'm going to repeat what Kate said. Post a sticker. You post a sticker and I don't usually use Facebook stickers, but now you'll see added up at the top row here is my avatar. So you're going to see all these stickers that I just shared with you on the phone. Okay. So they're all here. Right. I like, there's a lot of really cool ones. This is one that, uh, we saw earlier of in front of the fireplace with the rose in the mouth and laying on like the bearskin rug. Although I'm sure it's probably not real bear. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not real cause it's a uh, avatar. So anyway, and you post a good morning one and the thanks happy birthday, which would have been good for my daughter for yesterday was her birthday. And happy belated birthday, Nicole. And there's Anitra saying greetings, the instruct design lady, also known as Anitra. Okay. All right. So guys, what do you think so far? I just want to know. I, uh, Kate has already said that she thought it was fun. Uh, Barb says she was doing it. Barb, how are you making out? Cause you mentioned earlier that you were going to be walking through it. Um, going through the exercise with you from my phone. And I do believe that you have an iPhone Barb and not that it matters. I think all of this stuff is available on Android and I think it all works the same way. Maybe there's a little spot where something you have to click in a different place, but I think this walkthrough has given you the direction that you need to go. And if it's maybe on the right instead of the left or something like that, but, and if you're watching this in a replay, or if you're having problems with that, go ahead and type that in and let me know. And my buddy Doug is reminding everybody to hit that like button. And as we say around here, two taps, two taps. Because if you're on your phone, you know, you hear YouTubers say sometimes, smash that like button. But we don't play that around here. Because first of all, if you got a phone, if you got, especially if you got an iPhone, you love this little puppy. You ain't trying to smash it. You just need to tap it. Tap it. Ever so gently tap it one time to give it a thumbs up, tap it a second time to share it. Don't worry. Go ahead and share it. I'll be right here. We'll wait for you. If you're new, if you're new two taps has a different meaning. First tap is to subscribe. And the second tap is to go ahead and turn on those notifications. Hit that bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling. It's Eileen's life. <laughs> and Barb says, no, I have Samsung. Okay. Has everything that I've been saying been found in the same place for you on Samsung? If you need more time, Barb, please, please, please let us know. I'm I'm really not impressed at all so far. <laughs> okay, Barb, that's fine. You know, I, I, I get it. Sometimes people, uh, don't want to uh, explore. It's like, wait, I was happy with what I was doing before. I don't know why Facebook has to come out with this thing. I get it. Cause when I first saw it, cause it's been about three days now, when I first saw it, I said to myself, well, the emoji is so much cuter. <laughs> and speaking of that, I told you guys I was going to compare it to Bitmoji. So now let's do that. Let's go over and actually Bitmoji has a separate standalone app. So roll. Hello. 
That's interesting that all of a sudden the thumbs down came up there. I hope that wasn't you, so Ro. But anyhow, anywho, let's go over to the Bitmoji app. You know, it's better for me if I just type it in because I don't know where it resides. On my phone. Oh. I haven't. Oh, you know what? I don't use it. In, I don't use the Bitmoji app. Bitmoji does have its own separate app. Okay. But um, again, I've been building 3D avatars for over 10 years. Yes, but you're also a big Facebook user, right? So uh, <laughs> no, no, not me. I liked. Oh, thank you, Soro. <laughs> Appreciate you for letting me know that. So I don't use it from the Bitmoji app. I actually, and the reason is because it's a different password and I cannot remember the password, but I just get them from inside of Snapchat. So I'll just bring up Snapchat really quickly. And let's see uh, the best way for me to bring it up. Let me just take that picture. And then I think if I go into here, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go up there. There you go. There's all the different Bitmojis. So let's just take one like this here. All right. And so I, I guess it's a little bit more cartoonish because the face is, you know, they're just different cartoons. I can't even say... I want to compare them, but I really can't. They're just two different styles of cartoons. <laughs> okay, nothing deep about them. Uh, it's just two different styles. I still, still love my Bitmoji now. Bitmoji never gave me the opportunity to put glasses on. You know, <laughs> not that I can remember anyway. Because like I said, I don't have that login anymore. Maybe I did have glasses. And at the time, I was trying to pretend like, oh, I don't wear glasses all the time. Yes, you do. Or I do now. Because Bitmoji's been out for years. It's got to be at least three to four years since Bitmoji came on the scene. Well, when I started using it within Snapchat. Because when Bitmoji first came to Facebook, I wasn't interested in it. I didn't start making a Bitmoji until Snapchat. Okay, so that's just my own personal experience. And there's one thing I want to bring to your attention about stories, because we can now use these stickers and things inside of stories, okay? So let, first, let me get rid of this. And then, because I want to definitely see what Kate says here. And let me go back over to Facebook and not forget where I was. Okay, so Kate says, uh, I'd like to know how to make a Facebook frame. Is there an app for that? Hmm, I think it's inside of Facebook. Wherever you see frames, you should be able to click on that and create your own frame. And I had a frame a while back. Um... I'm going to have to look into that, Kate, and, and get back to you because it's not something that I've ever um, created. I'm not creative that way. <laughs> so I just use other people's stuff. <laughs> but when I was doing the Leap Into Life Summit, uh, Stephanie Liu had frames created for us. So, in fact, I took that frame and put it on my profile. It was a temporary profile pic. And then I downloaded the frame and then posted it over on LinkedIn. And it was a couple of days after my session when I remember, oh, I should change my LinkedIn pic back to the way it was. <laughs> uh, perfect timing for something fun and whimsical. Yes. I looked, but I didn't see it. Okay, thank you. No, I'll try it. I, 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 and if not, I can ask Stephanie because like I said, Stephanie Lou from Lights Camera Live. I know that she knows how to do it because she prepared them for all the speakers from the Leap Into Live Summit. And by the way, if you guys did not 
watch those leap into live. If you're interested in live streaming, they're still going to be available until the end of this month, June 1st, they go away, but it's still free. So that's going to be at Eileen.link slash leap into live. So you can still go over there and watch those. And I hope that you get a chance to watch mine where I was talking about mastering YouTube. Okay. So now we're going to talk about using these in stories and things. Okay. So let's go over to the home. All right. So I'd already created one story there with it. <laughs> And, uh, what I've done is taken some of these stickers and imported or exported them to my camera roll. If you forward slash on Facebook and add frames to it, you'll see the button to open frame studio feature. Thank you, Barb. Yay. It takes a village. <laughs> All right, let's just go over there real quick. Facebook.com slash frames. Uh, let's see what it does on desktop. Yep, there you go. That's it, Kate. I'm looking at it on desktop, and I'm going to assume that you would want to do it from your desktop. So there it is. Thank you so much, Barb. Facebook.com slash frames. And then here's where you can create a frame. All right. So that would be really cool for your, you can put your little um, pets in your frame. <laughs> yes. And, and uh, Kate has a pet sitting service in California. So Katie's here. Hello, Katie. <laughs> I love your response to my Facebook post. Yay. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, let's see. Let's just create a story the old fashioned way. Just this. And then it should, oh no, Facebook has given me some new option, which I don't want to use right now. And so there, the stickers are right there. So I can put, not all of the stickers are not there. Okay. I guess Facebook is just sharing with us right now inside of the story section, just ones that they think that we would use. So I'll just put, I'll just put her there. Okay. And of course you guys know you can resize them and all that good stuff. So now what if I don't just want to post this on Facebook? I want to post it somewhere else. I can save this sucker onto my camera roll. And then go ahead and post it on Instagram stories. I can post it on Snapchat. Uh, Messenger, because you know you can do stories in Messenger. I know people don't talk about it as much, but you can do stories in the Messenger app, which is a standalone app on your phone. Uh, there's a standalone app on your computer now. Everybody can download a standalone messenger app. Uh, let me get rid of this right for right now. And um, PCs, Macs, that messenger app works. Now, I'm not a WhatsApp user, but you can also do stories over there on WhatsApp as well. Okay. So, <laughs> so okay, Mr. Binkless. Bye-bye. So, yeah, let's see. Oh, I have some notes around here somewhere. I want to make sure I covered everything. Nah, I didn't put the notes. Yes, I did. I put them over here. Okay. <laughs> Save the stickers to your phone. That's the other thing that you can do. And then that way you can use them anywhere. For example, I posted one on Twitter today and, uh, 
I don't want to do a long drawn out tutorial about what I'm preparing for on, um, oh, I posted two on Twitter and that was this one of them was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That one's not a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was to announce this Twitch. <laughs> I forgot I did that. Okay. This is, this would be the long drawn out tutorial because I like to create gifts. All right. So right now we have no animation or anything with these stickers. Okay. Or, or with our avatars, we can create the avatars. We can create, or, or Facebook has created stickers for us, but they're totally not animated. So just to run through without making a whole tutorial of this, just to tell you in case you can pick up on this. Okay. So I posted the sticker into a story. Well, I created a story. I actually didn't post it. I created a story. Then I added one of the animated gifts that you can add from any of your stories, right? Then I downloaded that. Now, once you download it onto your phone, it becomes a movie. All right. It, it's no longer a GIF, but on my Mac, I have apps. I've got a couple of apps now that I can create gifts and they're free. Well, the one app is free called Giftski. So then I turned it into a GIF. So then I, this is why when I post it on Twitter, it may stand out a little bit more. And I actually did this from my stream deck. Uh, let me bring that up again. Uh, in fact, let me click on the, there you go. I got it. So I, when I posted as you see, I posted it from the Elgato stream deck. You see that there? <laughs> and it has that little animation to it. Now I still have a little tweaking to do with this particular sticker because this thanks is hard for me to match up a background color to it. So for now that's, you know, but that was just for a tweet. All right. So let's just go back here and see the other tweet that I posted early this morning. I said, thank you. See how the color is so much better on the second one here. And I just posted it and I filled in a background using the Instagram stories app because the Instagram stories gives you create mode. Now, if anybody wants to see that tutorial, Oh, we already got a taker here. Kate is already saying making gifts. Ooh, do tell. <laughs> and then so Soro asked, do you prefer PCs or Mac? I think both of them are great as long as they can give you, can do what you want done. Okay. I'm, you know, I use a Mac, but every day for work, I use a PC. So I probably actually spend more time on the PC than I do the Mac. You know, if I were to buy another computer today, it would be a Mac. Okay. So, but PCs are cool too. And it's great when you can live in both worlds and try to figure out how to do some of the things on this system and, and the other and vice versa. Now I started off with mobile phones. I started off with a Android phone. And so I did not appreciate the power of iPhone until I switched over because Android phones are great. Don't get me wrong. Don't send me hate mail. But when you're in the live streaming space, like I am, there's more apps and more features get developed on iPhone. That's just, that's just the way it is. And there's nothing that I, you know, want to brag about or think that, oh, I got iPhone because I get all that. No, it's not my druthers. It's just the way it is. <laughs> very, very rarely does something come to Android first. Every now and then it'll happen. And it's usually something fairly insignificant. 
But when it comes to live streaming and things like that, there's more apps, there's more features and all of that come to iPhone first. And it's just something that I realized. I didn't realize that when I was using my Android phone and I wasn't as much into live streaming back in those days either. So, but you know, you just, all right. So hang on. Kate, Kate heard me say gift ski. <laughs> it's S K I, but I'll show you in a minute. Uh, uh, always love your energy, Eileen Smith. It's awesome to learn from you, love. I had to tell you that. Now back to business. G Major, thank you so much for telling me that. You just made my day. Along with the super chat that I got earlier from Michael Daniels. <laughs> Did you see the latest SpaceX launch this morning? I just caught a f video focused on it. No, Katie, I didn't see it. But I will. that's something I would definitely watch later on. I was so intently watching that tutorial from uh, John Eric. Now, uh, I, I mentioned John Eric and Adventure Social, and John Eric mostly focuses on Facebook in his trainings. <clears throat> I don't know everything the man does in his life, but in his trainings and his coaching, he talks about Facebook. I have a big presence on Twitter, and as you all know, a great presence on YouTube. So now I got to figure out how to bring these avatars over here on the YouTube, right? <laughs> I, I got to figure it out. It's just, it's burning. It's a burning passion. Let's see if I can do this here. Here's one thing. This is just uh, an Ecamm Live feature. I can just drag an image onto the screen. So I just drag that. And I'll just, so I told you guys I was having a problem figuring out the background color. So I played around with using the gray. Cause I wanted to thank my YouTube subscribers. Cause you know, I'm uh, coming up on another milestone soon. I'm not there yet. And I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, but it's always a good time to say thank you to folks. So I just wanted you guys to see what I was working on before we go into this next <clears throat> part of the tutorial. Um, free gift maker. I don't know. You know, there was the wrong comment. I love my iPhone, but switch back to Samsung Galaxy 10 for photography. Very cool. See, I I take pictures with my phone, mostly selfies. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, the iPhone is fine for that. <laughs> All right. So, but I know that Kate has, you know, she does the pet sitting and she's got all those amazing animals and things. And I don't know what else you take pictures of Kate, but I imagine a beautiful landscapes there and Cali where you're at. So, um, <clears throat> time for a little break. I had to take me a sip of my little Ecamm juice. Hmm. <sighs> All right. So let's, Let's show a little bit more about uh, creating those gifts. Okay. So I'm going to go into Instagram. This is an exclusive tutorial. Not anything anybody showed me. This is one. Sunsets. Okay, great. Not anything that I learned from JE. This is something that I had to try to figure out myself this morning because I'm like, wait, how do I get that over into YouTube? Because on my community tab here on YouTube, and you all know about the community tab. Oh, you know what? You may not know. So let me head over there really quickly since it's right at my fingertips. I post on this community tab and in order to get to it, you would just head over here and then you would go to community. All right, so home videos, playlist, community. And on the community tab, you can post polls. You can post images. See, here's one of the animations. I had to make this a gift. You can't post videos. You can post a link to the video and say, Hey, watch this video from me or another creator, but you can't post videos, but you can post gifts. So it would be a status update, which is either text, a poll. And I'll show you here. These are your options where it says video and, but this is not that you can post a video. It's a link to a video 
and you open it up and you have to search YouTube for the video. Okay. <laughs> a poll or an image. All right. So, and I've done some, some really cool posts over here, guys. So please feel free to go over here and check these out at your leisure. You can scroll through, scroll back. Most of the stuff that I post over there is evergreen. And here, I'll just give you the link just to remind you to go over there. And, uh, G major says iPhone slash Android. I'm like a judge under oath. They're supposed to be impartial. <laughs> Touche, touche. Thank you. Thank you. I am trying to be impartial about that because I've, you know, I've lived in both worlds. Okay. So in order for me to like post something that may catch somebody's eye, that's not just a static image. I need to at least create a GIF. Okay. I, I posted a couple static images. Didn't do well there at all. All right. So this is a multiple step process guys for creating a GIF from Instagram. Let me, this is, oh, let me see what timestamp are we in this video? It's a 55 minute mark. This is a multiple step process. I'm, this was not my intention to train you guys on how to do this, but since you're here and since Kate asked, Hey, why not? All right. So go into the stories, go over into create mode. Okay. And create mode. And this is important. Actually, you see there already, you just type in a character because we're not really going to type anything on here. We, we really want to just post that sticker. Now, if you want to type something on there, you can, but that's not what I'm teaching you right now. Okay. So I just put a, a dot there but I'm going to cover that up. And Yas Studios came in. Sorry, I don't understand the language that you are um, typing in. So what we're going to have to do here is uh, remove those because I have no idea what you're, what you're saying. And it might not be a good thing. All right, so we post it. We, we use the text and we just post it a dot. All right. So I'll do it again. Cause that was actually sitting there from when I did it before. And we're going to say next. Okay. Then from there, we're going to go into our camera roll where we have saved some of those stickers. All right. So I'll use this one here. And I'm going to say copy photo and head back over to Instagram and see how that came up and say add sticker. That can't you, if you blink, you miss it. If you blink, you will miss it. So I'm going to do that again. All right. So, but to tell you again, what I did was I created the background. All right. And mind you, you can always change the colors, right? Um, nice online tutorials are more detailed. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can get more detailed and this is why I, I go into these when you guys ask these questions, you know, I go into them because you've taken the time out of your day to be here. And it's, this is going to be kind of buried like, because I'm not going to add that to the title of this. I may put a chapter marker in a after the fact. Okay. All right. So then that's very cool. All right. So great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm just going to delete her because I want you to see that again. And I really didn't show you guys how to save the stickers to your phone, but I think that's pretty kind of self-explanatory, but we'll go back over that too. All right. So you've already started this Instagram, but you're going to leave Instagram and go over to your camera roll. Got to do it in this order. Okay. Let's take a different one. This one is the clap, clap, clap. I'm going to click copy photo. And then when I come back to Instagram, it pops up add sticker. All right. So I really don't like the face that my avatar is making in this, even though they're clapping, it's almost like they got that little sarcastic face. 
So, and I'm just noticing this because remember, this just came out, right? So I'm not probably going to use this one anymore. <laughs> but for the purposes of today's demonstration, we're going to use it. And just so you know, you can always tap on it. You wouldn't do it with this one because there's words on it. So, you know what? Let's give it to her. She's messing up my, my demo here. Get out of here. Put her in the trash. <laughs> we got other things to do here. Oh, let's do her. She's too, too funny. All right, we're going to do her. We're going to copy the photo. We're going to come back over here. It's going to pop up as a sticker. We're going to make sure we cover up that dot so it just doesn't look funky, right? We can change the background because that's hard to read, right? So we want to change that. You just hit that little color wheel up at the top. All right. Um, the black, mm, not a fan. This isn't bad. I wish that I was able to change the color of my outfit because I wouldn't use the gray because I know gray is one of the colors in Instagram here. But really one of the most colorful ones. This is probably a good one. Okay, because it's I can read everything there. The green one is... is mm, it's not my thing. And there's a, a rainbow. The rainbow one normally looks really good, but because the ha ha is that letter there, um, that same color, it's not that great. Probably the gray one is the best one here, you know, or we could just go with this the blue and purple. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is add a GIF. All right, so let's just do go and uh, find one that's ha ha. Oh, there's another ha ha. Same color. Oops. Yeah, this is happening to me too. Doesn't want to. <laughs> it doesn't want to go. Yeah, this is a little tricky, but we got the gif on there, so we're just gonna leave it where it is. Got to flip her back around, and we're gonna export it. Okay, we're going to export it to our camera roll. Okay. Oh, hey, Dryer Buzz. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. He said, dang, I blinked. I noticed that too. And Dryer Buzz is laughing at me. And I will review this YouTube presentation like studying for a test again and again. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I've got it on my camera roll now, right? So let's go back to my camera roll. Okay, it's going to be the last thing I added to the camera roll. Now, here's the thing with YouTube. This is YouTube only. We're talking about posted to the community tab. Your image, your GIF has to be square. Why do they make things difficult for us? Because this would be great if I was posting it on Pinterest, right? Or, of course, stories, because I made it with the Stories app. So that makes sense. But for some reason, the image or GIF that you post on YouTube has to be square. They do let you reposition it, though. And so since I already know my little ha-ha at the bottom there, it's kind of weak. It does animate, though. You see, I had to push the play button so you can see that it does animate, right? That just brings attention to it, and I probably could have done, a, found a better GIF in the Stories app to put on there, okay, than that one. All right, so, but you can edit on your iPhone. I'm not sure what you can do on Android. Honestly, I don't know, all right, but you can crop. Only thing about when you crop this, it doesn't tell you if it's actually square. Okay. Oh, uh, I think. So I uh, just eyeball it as much as I can. And that may be square enough. All right. Then I'm done. All right. I told you this was a multiple step process, though. Okay. So I'm still not done because I have uh, apps on my phone that will convert this to GIF. But I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it on my computer. All right. So I want to make sure I get all you guys' comments. Okay. It's the, 
It's the trusting blue, just like your shirt. <laughs> Ain't that your thing? <laughs> Actually, you know, this conversation came up about cameras. This shirt is green. And if you noticed when I took the pictures in, um, see that color? It's not the same color as my shirt. My shirt is actually green, which is why I'm not using a green screen today. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for being so, um, so, uh, what's that word? When you really look at something for making a square makes sense. I don't agree. I think that because YouTube videos are portrait, I mean, landscape, why don't they let us make our gifts landscape? And then we can use the same gifts on Twitter that we use on YouTube and Facebook, but. That's just me <laughs> making them square makes my job harder, <laughs> but not that I'm trying to disagree with you VS and Julie repositioning. It may, maybe would be easier. Yes. It gets a little tricky. There's a square option on crop. Thank you dryer buzz. Cause that's what I need to know. I've seen a square option on, on images, but I didn't see it on video. So if I missed it, I'm going to have to go back in there and, and learn more. Yeah. My shirt is green. I know it's crazy green. Oh my God. It's blue on the stream. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, blue or green. <laughs> oh shoot. Now I'm colorblind. No, you're not colorblind. It's this Logitech Brio. Uh, people have talked about it before. In fact, I had a, um, another green shirt. That was like really, really green. Like this is kind of like a bluish green, but anyway, it turned out a completely different color. When I put it up, I must leave to take my corkies to the vet. We'll have to catch the rest and replay. Have an awesome day. Okay, Barb, let me know how you make out with your avatar. And I hope the corgis make out good with the vet. And now we're all confused. Green or blue, it doesn't matter. <laughs> universally accepted dimensions would be so much easier. Yes. But all the platforms are so spoiled. They make us create things the way they want them, not the way we want to create them. What kind of camera are you using? The Brio. I mentioned that. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I got some, I got some sharing partners up in here cause Fax Media Global said I had share and posted straight to IGNP. No problem. Thank you, baby. I'm in the, uh, ah, the RGB and the camera settings. Um, it doesn't let you do that in the Brio. There's a webcam settings app, but that works with the 920. It's a long story, Kate. Seriously. It's not that, uh, but it's okay. <laughs> See you in a couple minutes, switching from the mobile to the desktop so I can easily type. Okay, Katie. All right. We're going to wait for you. All right. Cause we are not finished with this because I have an iPhone because I'm in this little ecosystem that they set up for us over here. All right. That means that I can just airdrop this little puppy over to my computer. But something tells me that before I do that, I should take this off screen just in case. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to airdrop that over to my, uh, over to my computer. Okay. Sorry for asking. No, 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 honey. I don't mind you asking. I just, <laughs> I don't mind you asking at all. I'm sorry if, if I made it seem that way. <laughs> I just don't want to lose track of what I'm thinking about. Or what I'm trying to demonstrate here, because we have already got off topic five times during this little demonstration. All right. So now when I screen share, I'm going to be screen sharing the wrong thing. I just want y'all to know that I'm going to get it together though. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> so I got tabs open and all, but I want finder. Okay. So there's a little app. So now you see how this little thing is now over on my computer. There's a little app that I'm going to open this up with. Open with Gifsky, G I F S K I. Now, in the past, when I have attempted to show this app, it becomes really small on screen. But hey, that, they fixed it. Good. It's on, hey, yay. It's regular size now. 
So now, in addition to YouTube telling me that my thing needs to be square, it also needs to be under 10 megabytes. So I have to reduce the frames per second. And you can't just make it right on 10 megabytes because somehow when you upload it, it gets bigger. So I'll reduce the quality because you don't need it to be high quality for this particular. So I would like to make it around 9.5 megabytes. You see that? And it's not exactly square, but YouTube does give me the option to uh, uh, reposition it. So at least it will oh, upload it. It won't look totally awkward or distorted, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks. So we're all... We're um, converting the file now, and I'll save that onto my desktop. And then you'll see, and I'm not going to actually make a post with this, uh, but I'm going to save, I have to save the file. I have to give it a name because it just gives it a wild characters. And I won't, so this is just going to be test and for YT. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop. Okay. And so now I'm done with Gifsky, and that's a free app. G I F S K I is a free app on your Mac computer. At this moment, I don't know what app you would use on your PC at this very moment. So sorry about that. Okay. So now let's get back over here into my community tab. I got a couple of windows open. Let's make sure we get to the right one. All right. Yay. Actually, we're sharing the entire screen, so <laughs> it's not really a yay. Uh, this one. There we go. All right. So now we're up here. So I just want you to see now when I say image and it tells me select the image, I can drag and drop. So I like to drag and drop it over. So, yeah. So it will cut off the ha ha at the top. But my main thing is I want to make sure that people can see that the animation there. And as I said earlier, I will use a different animation. I just did that one to do it quickly for you guys. So here you go. This is how you reposition. All right. So we want to make sure we get the animation in there. And I probably will pick a, uh, an avatar that doesn't have writing on it as well and i'm not going to post this it's just just this is just to show you guys what it would look like and what that process is like so this is me taking my avatar sticker combining that with the create mode on instagram stories editing it and this is a long process and i'm sure there's an easier way to do it <laughs> But I've been doing this this way for a minute uh, when I have something that I wanted to get from my phone. And if I want to get from my computer, uh, you just use, because I'm on a Mac, there's a screenshot tool that's built within the Mac. And that makes the process a little easier. For example, when I, and I'm going to cancel that. For example, when I uh, created this post right here, this was this little cool animation that popped up on my last video. I just positioned that um, screenshot tool in a square format to get everything in and let the animation play, recorded it as a movie, and then went back and used my little gift ski app and made the, uh, converted the movie into a GIF. So this is the hoops that I got to jump through in order to post over there on that community tab. <laughs> but I like it and, you know, that's a, that's a whole nother uh, video. But since you guys are here, I just want you to be aware, you know, this whole uh, content creator mission is all about change and staying on top of all the changes that these platforms are making. Okay. And 
one of the things that they are all trying to do is trying to find more ways to keep us on their platforms. And I know years ago, we used to always say, don't build on rented land and all that. And I still agree with that. This is why I have an email list. And I always recommend those of you who do want to eventually monetize and to have your own audience separate from social media is I recommend that you build an email list. All right. But in the meantime, we have these platforms to make that list building easier. All right. Okay. So let me just put up some comments because there is, okay. I'll mess with this this afternoon. And dryer buses, there's a square option. Oh, that's right. You said that already. Okay. I went back too far. Okay. Universally accepted dimensions would be easier. Yep. What kind of camera are you? Oh gosh, I did go back too far. Sorry. <laughs> no. Oh, here we go. Too deep off topic. It's all good. Love this time with y'all. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, dear. It's what I'm trying to show you guys here is that don't just think about Facebook with these avatars. Okay. So even for somebody who says, I'm not even going to do all this stuff she did. That's way too many steps. Fine. My point here is to show you that creating this little avatar can help you reinforce your branding across different platforms, not just on Facebook, but of course, Instagram, we all know that Facebook owns Instagram, uh, in the messenger app, you may want to, let's just say you've got folks that you want to start do, doing this messenger rooms thing with, right? Maybe you send them a sticker and say, Hey, we're having a messenger room. Would you like to join us today or, or whatever? It's just, a, it's just another way that somebody catches somebody off guard because everybody's not doing this. I know every, all of you guys are doing it, but so many people, it's going to take them months before they ever create an avatar. All right. So you might be somebody who's watching this video months from now saying, boy, I wish I was following Eileen all along because I could have found this out back in May <laughs> of 2020. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, current audio. Oh, uh, We've got the phone plus original AirPods video PC. <laughs> Thanks, Katie, for giving us a rundown. The, the hoops under 10 steps are doable. Yes. <laughs> and like I said, there's probably an easier way. and Maybe I'll even figure it out. And if I do, I'll do a dedicated video about that. Uh, I love your videos. Thank you, Brandon. Very nice of you to come by and to say such sweet and lovely things. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. An email list. What's the, what is the best email tool? Gotta definitely have something about that. I use a Weber. Honestly, there's a lot of tools out there with a lot of different functionality. I have used and recommended a Weber for years. I'm also, um, close to their headquarters. So I've been there. I know those folks. I know they care. I know that they are constantly building the tools to keep up with the competition because Aweber was first. The guy who started Aweber is the person who, or he was one of the few guys that invented the autoresponder which is a big thing. If you know, you've got an email list, you want those emails to go out automatically. Well, they invented that. Okay. So there, but there's a lot of competition coming in from all these other email services, but I stick with Aweber and they have never led me wrong. And every time I turn around, they got a new feature. They got new. And that's what's taking me so long to get that tutorial out to you. Cause every time I get ready to come up with a tutorial, they introduce something different. So I'm like, Oh, y'all are awesome. I love that. Um, this is a branding tool we can use across multiple platforms ahead of the pack. You're a trailblazer. Oh, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Such a big help. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, and Katie is asking about convert kit. 
actually never used them. I've been using a Weber way before convert kit was even thought of. I do know they made a big mistake a couple of years ago and they tried to change their name and then they didn't realize that the name that they changed it to meant something in some culture that was offensive. Well, the word wasn't offensive, but the fact that they tried to use that as their name was offensive to um, the people of that culture. And, and I don't remember all the details. All I know is they had to go back to convert kit very quickly. Okay, I'm having problems with touch portal, not connecting to my iPad or iPhone. I don't know what the touch portal, or if you're talking about the Facebook portal, I don't know. And I don't know what the touch portal is either. So I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope that doesn't uh, hinder you from watching today's tutorial. And I just want to make sure that I didn't leave out anything that was major here. I did not show you how to save the stickers to your phone. And I think that's kind of major. So let's just do that. And I know, I know you guys can figure it out, but for those of y'all that are here, like what the hey, why not? Let me, let me get all the other nonsense I got going on off the screen. Okay. All right. Let me, let me, let me, let me remember. Um, <laughs> let me remember how to do this. Okay. Um, yeah, do I remember how to do it? <clears throat> Let's see, what's on your mind? Okay, so my other coach <laughs> has posted her avatar. So let's see, let's go into the comment. And let's go here. No, that's not where you do it. That's not how you do it. Sorry, back up. I got excited when I saw that Elise uh, posted one. So you're going to go back to the avatar, remember, and for those of you who came late, this is how you get to your avatars. You're going to go to the hamburger menu at the bottom. And if you've already created your avatar, this is where you'll find it. And even if you haven't created your avatar, you'll also find it here. So this is important. Go to the hamburger menu. Now, because I've been using avatars a lot, this is what Facebook does with all the options that you see on the screen it will bring up the ones that they want you to use or that you've been using frequently will bring up here. But if you don't see avatars up here, you'll see this little arrow down here where it says see more and it'll appear in the list here. Okay. That's important. So that's why I took the time out to show you that. Okay. So now that you've got the avatar created and if, for those of you who haven't done it yet, go back and watch from the beginning. I go through each step of how you create it. Then you see the stickers thing, which is the second one, the middle one up at the top. So this is what you do here. You um, tap on the sticker and you see more options and you save the image. So now it's saved to your camera roll as a transparent PNG, okay? Hamburger menu, great reference, technical term. Yeah, well, hamburger menu is like the old school. People don't usually call it hamburger menu anymore because a lot of times it's just the three dots, the ellipsis. And that's what they replaced it with on Chrome as the three dots. But it's really the hamburger menu. And sometimes there's four lines. That means you got a really thick hamburger. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go back in and let's get another one because I, remember I downloaded one that I didn't like. Oh, the clap, clap, clap. I thought she was cute until I saw a bit, you know, and then I'm like, I don't know if I like that expression on her face. I think she's being patronizing. So I don't like her. I get rid of her. So let's do another. I don't want couch club. All right. Yes. I don't think I downloaded. Yes. Let's do yes. So let's, we're going to, now remember, I told you, you guys can send these in messenger. All right. But we're not going to send it in messenger. We're going to go to more options. And then we're going to go to save image. So now those two are now on my camera roll. Okay. So there she is with the heart and there she is. And the reason why it looks black is because there's a transparent background. And you guys saw that when I was going into stories and creating the story, you saw when I post, when I, um, when it said add sticker and I put that sticker on the screen, it had the transparent background. It didn't look black and it didn't look white. 
Okay, so there, there's your steps of what you need to do. You need to create your avatar. You need to use it when you post it as a comment to someone's post because everybody's going to be posting about avatars for the next few days, right? You want yours to stand out. So make sure you also add some text. You don't want to just post the avatar all the time. And there's some Thelma Thrift. Thank you so much for the super chat, my love. Yes. <laughs> Actually, that's a super sticker and it's a pair character lifting some weight saying, keep it up. <laughs> and that's how Ecamm Live brings in those super stickers. <laughs> Thank you, Thelma. I appreciate you. And now that is Streamlabs widget. Also giving you some, some, um, animated along animation along with music or, or I should say a, a clip of music. All right. So I think we, uh, covered everything. I'm just going through all my notes here. There's always something that I don't cover. There's always a little something. And I always kind of leave a little something for my patrons over on Patreon. Right, Katie? And so, also, I always share with my patrons first. So when I... I have already posted over about the avatars and already gave a little bit of a walkthrough about the avatars over on my Patreon. Okay. So if you want to be one of those that's in the know that gets first access to stuff, you want to go over to patreon.com slash Eileen. I-L-E-A-N-E. -E. And now you know why it's important that you spell my name right. Because I don't want you going to the wrong person's Patreon. And Katie says, I have an avatar on my Snapchat. A cousin tried to show me once. Too much for me, but would like to use it throughout the internet. Okay, so your avatar on, on Snapchat, it's a Bitmoji. And I, I went through that. I don't think you were here when I was going through. It's just showing what the Bitmoji look like compared to the avatar. But they're similar but it's a different style of cartoon. That's all. <laughs> and Evelyn is here. Hello, my dear. She said, that's cool. Yes. Go ahead and create your avatar. You can watch this video. And I, it's very early on in the video because we're, we're getting ready to close out today's live stream. So go ahead and go back to the beginning, Evelyn, if you want. And then Katie's saying, all right, because she's one of the patrons. So she knows you get that stuff over on Patreon first. I mean... Sometimes I come on there and it's like, I just got finished learning this stuff and I share it. Or it's something that just came out. The first place I go is to share it with my patrons. Okay. So, and for those who want to get access to that, it's patreon.com slash I L E A N E. We have a private Facebook group, which is where I'll do any of the, uh, advanced tutorials and also Katie says she'll catch the replay yes so you can see what I said about the bitmoji so bitmojis are cool you know and bitmoji for those who may or may not remember you used to be able to post bitmojis on Facebook but then Snapchat acquired bitmoji so Sna Facebook is going to have to uh continue to build this avatar out. So eventually the avatar is going to be animated and all that. And they're going to be able to, we're going to be able to bring it in to virtual scenarios and everything. Cause remember Facebook also has Oculus. Okay. So, uh, guys, here we go. I'm sharing this video. So many need to see this. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Kate. You're awesome. Thanks for sharing your mentors with us. I like how you keep it real. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, I love to do that because, you know, I a lot of things that I learn, I want to teach you guys, but I got to put my own spin on it. You see what I'm saying? So I learned a lot about this from, from John Eric and the reason why I get from him first is because he has a direct connection to Facebook. So 
he gets it before anybody else on Facebook gets it. He's like one of the chosen folks that sees it first. In fact, he's testing out some of the things now that nobody else has. It might be him and five other people. And I don't know who those any of those people are. <laughs> but Eileen puts her own spin on it. So, like, John Eric doesn't use YouTube. I mean, he may have a YouTube channel, but he doesn't have this, this community tab. So he's not going to show you how to use that. But I do. Doesn't use Twitter that much. He's not going to show you how to use that. But I do. Also, my other coach, who is Elise Michelle, doesn't use Twitter that much. But I do. Okay? So I try to give you guys a well-rounded approach because all of these sites that I mentioned, and, and, and none of these folks, none of my coaches uses Twitch. And y'all know I use Twitch. Well, some of y'all know. Some of y'all don't know. I use Twitch. Okay, a lot of times I will use Twitch as um, sort of a testing ground to debut new fe features. So that's my next thing. I got to figure out how to integrate these avatars into Twitch. Because, you know, I have emotes on Twitch. I could replace some of my existing emotes that I got from Snapchat with my avatars. Hello! So it just all... <laughs> works together in a cohesive, you know, to build the brand, uh, to, uh, get your message out there. Like I always tell you guys, I want you to get your message out and I want to be the person that helps you because either you're struggling with the tech or you just may be a little shy or, uh, Katie says Twitch is too much for me and that's okay. And I don't, expect everybody to do all the things that I do. And I don't do everything. Like you guys have never seen me do a tutorial about LinkedIn. Not that I don't know how to use it. It's just not the thing that I talk about. Okay. So I don't, I don't do everything. You know, you don't see me. You haven't seen a TikTok tutorial from me yet. Say that three times fast. TikTok tutorial, TikTok tutorial, because I don't use it because I can't do everything. <laughs> only so many hours in a day. And I want to make sure that those things that I do use, that I know them very well, as best as I can. Because if I was to go over to TikTok, then I had to go get me a TikTok coach. And I'm not going down that path, okay? <laughs> but what I want you to do, if and whenever you're watching this video, please know that I have other videos here that you can um, check out. And I don't even know where my little end screen would be. Let's see if I can find one really quickly. And an end screen is one that I would get from Roberto Blake uh, in his YouTube starter kit. And nope. I don't have it where I'm supposed to have it on my desktop. <laughs> so we're just going to pretend that I have an end screen up here and you'll see videos popping up on the screen as you're watching this. So go ahead and follow those videos. I'm going to, uh, pick one out for you. YouTube's going to pick some out for you based on your viewing history and things that, uh, YouTube thinks that you're going to be interested in. And so with that today, as always, what I like to say to you in parting, stay beautiful.